Today, I'm going to show you how I made this fully collapsible treat cart with no power tools. It has interchangeable decorations that can be used for almost any occasion. Keep watching. I started with a pre-cut piece of 48 inch long MDF shelf board from the Home Depot. You can find these in the lumber section unfinished for about $10. I painted the board with white semi-gloss paint but if you want to skip this step, you can just buy a piece of shelving that's already laminated white. You'll just pay a little bit more for it. In order to attach the ballisters, I bought these really small utility hinges. This is part of what's going to make the cart completely collapsible. Then with a basic Phillips head screwdriver, I attached the hinges to the ends of all four ballisters. The wood is really soft and easy to screw into, so no power tools are needed. The hinges are a little bit stiff at first, but they tend to loosen up the more you use them. Here you see I have one of the balusters fastened to one corner of the board. Now I can demonstrate for you how it completely collapses or folds down. This next step is really important. The placement of the balusters has to be staggered so that each piece can lay down flat. So what I did was I put the front baluster pieces in the corners of the board and then I put the back balusters more towards the inside of the shelf. I'll demonstrate it for you here so that you can get a better picture of what I'm describing. To prevent the balusters from falling over while I'm using the treat table, I got some screw eyes and some cup hooks to put on the ends. I put the cup hook into the baluster and I put the screw eye into the shelf on a little bit of an angle and it holds very securely. I'm using a basic 48 inch folding table as my base. Now it's time to put it all together. You see how the baluster legs are staggered just like the table legs? Simply unfold the table and then put our board and balusters on top. For the roof of the treat cart, I started with two pieces of foam board and attached them together using some clear packing tape down the center seam. Next, I flip the boards over. I tape the other side as well down the center seam. Then I took a piece of scrap foam board and tape that going across the seam. That way it would secure it and keep it from folding. I repeated those steps to have a total of four boards attached together. I measured and cut two pieces of ribbon about 20 inches long. This ribbon idea came from another YouTube channel, the Tyra Perez Project. I'll link her video in the description box below. It's a good way to keep the roof in place but it still gives me the flexibility to collapse the roof when I need to. You could simply tie it in a knot like she did, or you could secure it with clear packing tape like you see here. All that's left to do is set it on top of the balusters. It will stay in place. But if you're worried about people seeing underneath your roof, you could cut two triangles and attach them to the sides to cover that up. So this is the basic bare bones of the cart. 
let's build it up a little bit more. If you're getting some really good ideas from this video, go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. By the way, I got this wagon wheel from Amazon and spray painted it white. I measured, cut, and taped together more pieces of foam board to enclose the bottom of the cart. I also traced out the circle where I will attach the wagon wheel. In order to collapse the cart and reuse all of the cutout foam pieces, I'm attaching the foam boards with some heavy duty adhesive back Velcro. And when I want to change the colors and the theme of the cart, I can just use these pieces as patterns. The cart can be used just the way it is in white but really the decorating possibilities are endless. You can use some striped fabric on the roof with scalloped edges like an awning, or cut out some shingles with your Cricut machine and attach those. Print out a person's name on the roof of the cart or put their name on the base of the cart. You could even give your cart its own name according to your theme. I'm gonna have so much fun changing out the way this cart looks and it's easy to collapse it, store it, and transport it. I forgot to mention that the wagon wheel is also attached with that same heavy duty Velcro. Just stick it on when you're ready and pull it off when you're done. Just to give you another option for decorating, here I used wrapping paper to cover the roof and a cardboard cupcake cutout from the Dollar Tree. The wrapping paper kind of looks like sprinkles on a cupcake to me, but you can make this cart as elegant or as festive as you want for weddings, baby showers, bridal showers, children's parties, the list goes on. You'll be seeing me style this cart a lot of different ways on my channel, so be sure to come back again. If you enjoyed this DIY sweet treat cart video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. I post new videos weekly on decorating special events and home organization. I'm Steph Storm, and you'll see me next time.